Boy, I recognize that face for decades. He has delivered the news here in L.A., covering just about all of the biggest local stories ever to break. Paul Moyer, longtime, well-known broadcaster from NBC4, retiring from that job. And tonight, we're going to take a few minutes and look back at his on-air contributions as we say, thank you, Paul. Tonight, we celebrate the career of our colleague. Paul Moyer, as you probably know, is a local boy, born in Torrance. Since 1972, he's been delivering the straight story from his anchor chair here at Channel 4. This evening, we pay tribute, and we say thank you for all the contributions, Paul, that you've made to Los Angeles Broadcasting. Patrick Healy takes a look back. Good evening, everybody. It's now 5 o'clock, and I'm Paul Moyer. John Mitchell got his parole date today. Utter, utter fire destruction. Now we wait as the world waits for the verdict in the O.J. Simpson trial. We saw ambulances taking people to the hospital. We don't know the seriousness of their injuries. I was a big news, news watcher as a kid. 1959's big stories. Part of that was because I wanted to know what was going on. NBC News presents... The 1960 Democratic National Convention. I had an interest in what they were doing, as that someday maybe I would be able to do that. The following program is brought to you in living color on NBC. Paul Moyer signed on the air as weekend anchor for KNBC News Service in February 1972. He was in good company. Look who we had at this station at one time. Tom Brokaw, Tom Snyder. Jess Marlowe, Bryant Gumbel, Ross Porter, Stu Nahan, Pat Sajak. This station was a gift. A van struck five people in a crosswalk outside Roosevelt High School. Paul grew up in Los Angeles. He was a Torrance boy. He was, you know, hometown. He grew up here, so he really connected with viewers. By 1973, big changes were afoot at the anchor desk. Good evening. I'm Tom Brokaw. Brokaw left and went to New York. I think in 73, and I took the 11th. Los Angeles Mayor Tom Bradley met with President Carter in Washington today. Snyder left and in so 74, and I got the six. Come. Beginning Monday night in this time period, this chair will be occupied by Paul Moyer. Paul was now the lead anchor at Channel 4, playing a prominent role in Los Angeles broadcasting. He defined the role. He communicated with viewers. He was a great communicator. In 1974, Paul covered one of the biggest news stories of the time. Nothing like it had been live on TV. Hey, people! The LAPD was involved in a deadly shootout with the SLA kidnappers of heiress Patty Hearst. I'll never forget this story because it was the first actual remote that I ever anchored from the studio. We were on for so long, doing something so new to the station. It is situations like that where Paul has excelled. Anchor people earn their money not in reading the teleprompter, but in those occasional times when there is breaking news. Paul co-hosted the popular Sunday show with Kelly Lang. It was live TV, and it was so much fun to do. But it was his interview with TV legend Lucille Ball that made Paul the most nervous. I didn't sleep that night because, I mean, Lucille Ball is one of the biggest stars that television's ever had. But Paul has a way of putting everyone at ease, including then NBC4 rookie sportscaster Bryant Gumbel. When I first got there, I was doing weekends with Paul Moyer. Bryant Gumbel is live tonight. Paul would be part of NBC broadcast history when Kelly joined him as the company's first female anchor. The Los Angeles City Council made a very important decision today. Paul and Kelly co-anchored the news for nearly five years until he left in 1979 to work for KABC. He would return in 1992, reteamed with Kelly and with a new partner, Colleen Williams. This is the Channel 4 News at 11. I'm Paul Moyer. And I'm Colleen Williams. We begin tonight with a breaking news. If there was a major event in Los Angeles in the past 15, 16, maybe even 17 years, I shared it with Paul. There have been wildfires. Oh, you see well, that? That may have been a propane tank right there. High profile murder trials. It is over. After all this time. Terrorist attacks. <laughs> oh my God! And everyday events. He was always prepped, always ready to go. He had his information down before he sat down. You've got to be a reporter first because the whole thing is about trust and believability like the bombing at the Olympic Games in Atlanta. There has been an explosion in Centennial Park. Okay. When everything hits the fan, you can count on Paul to bring it all together. He is the anchor man, and that, that, that is, he is the pivotal player on our team. Paul is tireless in his exposure of pressing problems, like counterfeit IDs. What's this mean? 
credit card ripoffs. A warning for shoppers at the start of this busy holiday shopping season. His investigative reports on Playa Vista earned him the respected Peabody Award. Are you kidding me? A Peabody? Are local news guys supposed to win Peabody's? There have been other honors, but it may be the landmark relationship with Colleen, Fritz, and Fred that will be most remembered. Trust experience. Together, they made up the longest running anchor team in the history of Los Angeles broadcasting. We're this family in the sense of what we've experienced for 20 years together. We shared a lot of things. Our kids grew up together. He was a very committed and dedicated journalist. I think his heart was always with sports. Maybe take a look at this NFL promo. Hey, great show tonight, Mr. Moyer. Hey, thanks, kid. It was a tough one. Hey, kid. Wow. Paul was a great athlete. He wasn't the best dancer in the world. I've seen Paul dance. He won't be dancing when he retires. In his 25 years at NBC4, Paul has had a few looks. Bad hair, bad clothes. When Paul started back in the 70s, he had enormous hair. It looked like a beehive. Paul never took himself too seriously. For the last couple of years, people have written this station, they've called into KNBC and said that Paul Moyer looks something like Tom Snyder. To all of you who wired and called and wrote, and I'm here to tell you that's not true tonight, November 21st, 1974. As he enters retirement, Paul's colleagues offer these heartfelt reflections. When the big book of television is written, where will Paul Moyer end up? He should end up at the very top of his profession. As a partner, I can't think of anyone who is any more professional. Paul, if anyone deserves to relax and have a great time now, you do. I would like to do an on-air appeal to Paul if I could rent his guest house for a reasonable amount of money. Please, I'll do yard work. I'll shop. I'll be a manservant. Oh my God. Oh my God. What am I supposed to do? I, how do I do this without being terribly self-indulgent? Um, this is hard for me. It, um, you know, it's kind of bittersweet. I mean, I, the, the free time is great, but I got to tell you something. There's, there's a day that goes by that I don't want to get in the car and go back in there with you guys that I love very much and get back into it all over again. But of course, that's not going to happen, at least at Channel 4. Um, I miss my television family, and you're right, we were family. I mean, you spend 20, 25 years together, of course you are. Colleen, God, what was it, 14 or 15 years that you and I shared that desk and reported on some amazing history? I will miss that very much, Colleen, and I will miss you very much. Uh, Freddie and Fritz and um, Chuck and Anna, you're the best. The reporters in there, the, the, the producers, the desk people like Dave and Jack and Gino, um, I, I, you know, I, I just, I, I will miss you so, so, so very much. And all the talented people at Channel 4 and the producer, Cy Smith, my 11 o'clock buddy, thank you, Cy, for being my friend and putting up with my numerous bouts of BS. Um, uh, Wendy Harris, we go back a long way, Amy and Tara, the 5 o'clock folks. Uh, Frank Snepp, the, the investigative stuff we did over the years, my friend, in my opinion, was priceless. Uh, news director Bob Long, thank you, Bob, for your friendship. And thank you, Bob, for protecting the product for as long as you've been able to do it. Um, I'd be remiss, the good people at Channel 7, I spent 13 years there, uh, back when the business was really a lot of fun, and I kind of grew up there. So for the folks at Channel 7, thank you, too. And especially to the people of Southern California. I, I cannot tell you how grateful I am for your support, for your um, trust over these years, the good years and the bad years. I will never forget you for that. Now, am I, am I done in Los Angeles? Um, yeah, I'm done at Channel 4. Beyond that, I gotta tell you something, I don't know. I really haven't got a clue, God only knows, but I can tell you this, for me, Right now, it is family, and it is making up for lost time with that schedule. And Colleen, you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, it's making up for lost time with two grown kids in Flagstaff, Arizona, a grandchild, another on the way, a 19-year-old who just came back from college uh, in Boston, 
a 16 year old who's standing right over there who's one of the best golfers you ever see he, he, he's got his dad back full time I'm not sure how thrilled he is about having dad back full time but Kyle I'm here and we're gonna spend a lot of time right here on this golf course this beautiful place called Riviera so guys um, this is difficult but to the wonderful people at Channel 4 thank you it is goodbye and to the people of Southern California I thank you from the bottom of my heart for every one of those 37 years um, I'll never forget you so that's it so long make us all cry right here. I have to tell you, we come around the corner in the midway and we expect to see your car there every day. Let, now, let, go let ahead. Just, just let me just say one thing. You look like an ad for Scott's Turf Builder. <laughs> <laughs> if, what if, a <laughs> shot. Oh, you look great, big guy. You know, yeah. It's it, it, it's it's tough, guys, but somebody's got to do it. You know, it ain't bad. Let me tell you no, something. No, you look healthy. Terrible. You look healthy and rested and Hey, Paul, Paul, let me ask you a question. Now, since you've officially retired, I don't have to pay you the money I owe you, right? Because you're... <laughs> you can give it to his partner, and I'll make sure he gets it. No, you know what? Every time I've called for you, you've been working out with a trainer or playing golf. You look absolutely fabulous. Um, we wish you all the very best. Dr. Bruce Thank says you. goodbye. Lori white says goodbye everybody at the station wanted to say goodbye to you today so thank you thank you thank you and give our best to Thanks, kyle guys. dylan and uh, becky as becky. well and i'll tell you i saw them at the baseball game sunday we sat right behind them at the dodger game on sunday the first thing i said to him you look five years younger the first thing i said when i saw him he looks younger and more relaxed than he has in, in many many years so enjoy it paul keep your head down hit him straight thanks guys All see right. you later take okay. care of yourself we'll talk to you soon Bye, Paul. You have to go to work. Get yeah. over there and do the sports. I have to go to the sports desk. Yes, you do. Okay. We'll be right back.